Jail World, discussing the case of Dave, who was going through a hard time, was walking by the desk, a desk in one of the, in the office, going up and down, just saw on the desk $250 right there. He said to himself, you know, I'm going to take this money, I really need it. And um, time goes by, money's gone, obviously, and six months go by, Dave feels very badly about what he had done, he wants to... He wants to correct it. He wants to give the money back, but he's just so embarrassed, and he doesn't he doesn't know how to do it in a way that would uh, keep himself anonymous. He's thinking about just dropping the two hundred fifty dollars on the desk back where he found it. He really wasn't sure what to do. Would that be permissible? Could he mail it in to the person without a return address? What are Dave's options in this in this uh, in this scenario? So the Rav Moshe Feinstein has a Chuva has a response on a question that similar to this and he writes that in fact one would be permitted to return the money anonymously the problem is that you have to guarantee that the note you have to know for a fact that the money actually was returned so the money has to somehow be guarded so if it was mailed for example the the post would have to be registered some kind of registered mail to be able to be notified that the recipient actually received the money in this case. The one caveat is that if there was pain, this person was pained by the fact that they were stolen from, the individual who stole is actually required to ask for forgiveness. And asking for forgiveness seems to be something that needs to be done in person, face to face. One can't necessarily just write a note anonymously. This is at least how Maimonides, the Rambam, writes in the laws of Teshuvah that one needs to ask forgiveness up front. So Moshe Feinstein says that it's hard necessarily to apply that rationale and understand that rationale, and therefore expanding this definition of asking forgiveness, he indeed writes that one will be permitted to apologize anonymously in order to at least hold on to some of the dignity of this individual who stole the money, turned the money, put a note of apology, and that would be sufficient for making sure the money gets repaid and also for restoring some of that embarrassment which had been caused to the individual who was stolen from.